This is an Oklahoma solution to an Oklahoma problem. Oklahomans have the chance to have open primary elections. On Monday, a petition was filed for state question 835, which would do just that, change the state constitution from closed to open primaries. We vote for the person we think is best for the job in every race, no matter how we are registered. Oklahoma United says this move would improve voter turnout, a category Oklahoma was dead last in during this month's presidential election. The system is most unfair to independents who make up more than one in five Oklahoma voters. There are over 480,000 independents in the Sooner State, and this voting block is growing at a faster rate than either of the major parties. Over half of military service members, active duty and veterans, don't affiliate with a political party. They're independent, like me. And in Oklahoma, that means we don't get to vote in the election that matters. But not everyone agrees. I believe that you saw a reduction in voter turnout in this general election uh, because of the lack of quality of the Democrats nominee. The Oklahoma GOP says this is an attempt to weaken the Republican Party, while chairman of the Oklahoma Libertarian Party says this move won't make a difference. If you really want to make it so that the uh, largest number of voters have choice, uh, we would put uh, we would do away with primaries and have everybody on the general election ballot, which again, that is the most choices when the most voters go to the polls. So which which elections in Oklahoma would become open primaries? This would be for statewide offices, county offices, district attorney, members of the state legislature, and U.S. Congress. This wouldn't impact the presidential race or municipal races for mayors, judges, or school boards. So what's next? Governor Kevin Stitt will have to choose a date to put the question on a ballot. Once the Secretary of State sets a start date, those for the state question will have 90 days to gather over 172,000 signatures. Reporting, Kylie Thomas, KOCO 5 News.